Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at the Cambridge NASB Topaz in brown calf split leather versus the NASB Large Print Ultra Thin Reference Bible in black calf skin leather from Lockman. So quick look at the specs for both. As we go through them, I'll place the links to the reviews in the corner. So the Topaz has the 2020 NESB brown calf split leather pasted vinyl liner, sewn binding, two one quarter inch ribbons. The overall size is six and three quarter by nine and seven eighths by one and a quarter. It weighs two pounds, 6.5 ounces, has 28 GSM French paper, gold page edges, double column verse layout, line matching text, 10 point more pro typeface, red letter, outer column references, 95,000 references, family pages, topical index, 15 maps, printed in the Netherlands, and the current price is $175. Now the Lockman is the 2020 NESB in black calfskin, has a synthetic edge lined liner, sewn binding, two three eighths inch ribbons. The overall size is seven by nine and three quarters by one and a quarter. It weighs two pounds, 5.8 ounces. It has 30 GSM blue tinted paper, gold page edges, double column paragraph layout, line matching text, 10 point font, black letter, 95,000 center column references, family pages, a topical index, charts, nine maps printed in China. And this one current price is $75. So let's take a look at both. So the overall size is about the same, right at the same. It's really close. It's hard to see much difference between the overall size. The Lockman might be just a little bit wider. There's a look at the leather. They look similar. They really do. They feel similar. The Lockman is a little thinner, but that's partially due to the vinyl edge line liner. I don't really like this liner for edge line. I'm not sure how long that will last. I know what, what I'm getting into in this paste down and it's got reinforced binders tape there. You can see that little ridge if that shows up in the, the lighting. While this one is a good liner, but it is not reinforced. So it's not really reinforced. That little edge that you're seeing is an imprint of the edge line tab. So this doesn't feel as good on the inside. The outside, I love it. It looks great. It, it's excellent. So here's a look at the paper. I'm not a fan of this paper. It has a blue tint to it. I don't like blue tint paper. I just don't like the look of it. I don't know why, I just don't. It has a decent uh, texture. And as usual, I've put them on the wrong side. So let's get them back on the correct side. So here's how they look side by side. They both have the same references. They both have the same topical index. The font in the Lockman looks to be a little darker. And also it is a paragraph edition with a poetic setting. While the Topaz is just verse by verse. And it has red letter versus black letter. And then we can look at the index. The index is the same, but each one has its own its own layout. So we'll go to L. There's L in both so that you can see them side by side and see that their content is the same. And then a quick look at their maps. I like a map index, especially like a, a, a Cambridge map index because it's color coded. So just a quick look at how the maps look. I won't go into detail about how they compare as far as their, their features, but just a, a quick look at how they look. I think they both look good. I'm a fan of Cambridge maps and I'm a fan of Cambridge paper. The paper in the Lockman is a little bit rough, but I don't have any issues turning it. The paper in the Topaz also don't have any issues turning it and it's a little smoother. I just prefer the color of the topaz paper. I prefer the font, I think, in the Lockman. But if I'm gonna pick one of these to read or use, I'm gonna go with the topaz simply because I don't like this blue paper. That just, it does not appeal to me. Also, the leather on the outside I love, no question about it. But on the inside, it just doesn't strike me as 
as good simply because of that vinyl. Now they both do stay open well. It, this one does stay open fairly well. So no issues there. So no problem staying open. So that's my comparison of these two. So that's a quick look at the NESB large print ultra thin reference from Lockman and the NESB Topaz from Cambridge. So which was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I will place links to the reviews in the corners and also I'll place links to the reviews in the description. Both Bibles were supplied by the publisher in exchange for honest reviews. Thanks for watching.